Remember the account that we reviewed a while back? King Bulls. It was one of those like well-produced history accounts that Carlos and I are always uh, complaining about because they look like they get about $700 million from the NED and the CIA to help them with their production value so that they can spread propaganda and lies about history and about socialism. This is one of those accounts. Um, and I debunked or systematically analyzed their video about Russia and China and Iran the other day. Um, but they just re released this doozy of a video. Why do we call the war in Ukraine unprovoked? Debunking Russian claims. Spoiler alert. They don't debunk any claims because the war in Ukraine was provoked. And these guys are completely full of it. But it may, in fact, be the case that there are Welcome more the, nefarious right motivations behind this Kings and Generals account than just ignorance or not knowing history or not being aware of what's going on in Ukraine or being duped by the corporate media, which, of course, if you're a historical account, if you're a research based account, you shouldn't make a claim, make a 20 minute video about how the war in Ukraine was unprovoked. Right. If you're really doing your research, if you're getting to the facts, you know this is not true unless you're being paid to say otherwise or being overtly, directly manipulated to say otherwise, which kings and generals may in fact be because this is a video that ties them to the NED, the National Endowment for Democracy, the private version of the CIA that basically or that does serve as an arm of the U.S. State Department, but heavily, heavily focuses um, what they do on um, uh, propaganda and information wars, information control, combating misinformation, spreading good information, which, of course, is code for spreading imperialist propaganda. That's what the NED does. That's what they were super successful in doing um, in a lot of uh, different regime change efforts like the coup in Bolivia. But uh, the... Uh, civil war in Libya and Syria that toppled the Libyan government and threw Syria into a disastrous situation for many years was largely sparked by the NED infiltrating the country with propaganda, forging together coalition groups of different separatists and different extremists um, and promoting separatism uh, and violence in the country. So that's what these country or that's what these organizations do. They subvert uh, other countries' governments, other countries' media, other countries' uh, information um, to, to manipulate the political systems in those countries and help promote U.S. interests, imperialism. We all know this. And I'm not going to show you this whole 40-minute video or 54-minute video about uh, the connections between YouTube channels, history YouTube channels, and the CIA or the NED. Uh, but thankfully, this guy was nice enough to post his sources for us. He had an entire Google document of sources, but he also posted this on Twitter. X Gaming turned history YouTube channels are literally fronts for the effing CIA. The NED, I'm going to retweet this, by the way. The NED was meant to defend against these scandals by putting certain programs out in the open. The sugar daddy of overt operations has been the National Endowment for Democracy. So... As I said at the beginning of this segment, Carlos and I are complaining about these history channels all the time. We're complaining about these propaganda channels all the time because they have such good production value. They have such good animation. Their videos look so nice and they're so easy to watch. But people think they're just getting objective history. People think they're getting, quote unquote, unbiased history when they're getting the most Western, pro-Western slanted neoliberal version or lens of history that they could ever get. Literally, the version of history that's written by the NED and the CIA, uh, edited into these easily digestible little animations and then pumped out in mass to kids where they get millions of views. And they're rewriting history. They're indoctrinating an entire generation of people or an entire populace of people, erasing the historical truth in order to continue um, taking imperialist actions abroad, such as the arming and funding of neo-Nazi extremists in Ukraine in order to wage a proxy war against Russia. Um, thank you so much, Kyle Pettis. Hooray, these are the videos I put in the stream suggestion. 
He's a personal friend of mine, the guy who made this video, who I'm trying to get you in contact with directly. He became a patron yesterday. Oh, this is your friend that you mentioned. Awesome. Thank you, Kyle. Um, so glad that I got a chance to cover this. Yeah, this is super interesting stuff. Really appreciate you for sending it. And thank you so much for the $10 super chat, um, supporting the project. Um, appreciate you a ton. And for being a Patreon and a YouTube member. You're all over the place, Kyle. Um, you're the man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is great research from your friend. So tell him thank you. And I'll definitely get in touch with him. And if he wants to work together and collaborate with Midwestern Marks, we definitely could. All right. I'd at least love to boost his great research like this. Okay, so I better get back to it now. Um, thank you so much. Uh, so what do we have here? This video was made by Leafsick when the script was developed. The script was developed. So literally the person who wrote the video was Turgut Gambar. Um, this guy there. Turgut Gambar is an employee for the National Endowment for Democracy. So this script was written for them by the NED. They edited together this nice little presentation on behalf of the National Endowment for Democracy. The CIA cutout aimed at U.S.-backed regime change and aimed at manipulating people in other countries and spreading regime change propaganda. So Carlos and I had a, an inkling forever. We had a hunch that these history channels were being propped up by the State Department or being, at, at the very least, propped up by NGOs and think tanks and bot uh, bot accounts that like and comment on their stuff, which I'm sure that's a big aspect of it as well. I'm sure they bought the shit out of all these videos uh, to boost them in the algorithm and get them going because uh, they all just get millions of views. But the script is literally being written by the NED. And sometimes when I see stuff like this, I start to freak out. Like, they're just propagandizing so many kids, man. Propagandizing so many teenagers who are doing their due diligence. Who are like, I'm going to research the war in Ukraine. I'm going to research some stuff uh, by looking it up on YouTube. What's happening in the war in Ukraine? What's happening with Russia, uh, China, and Iran? Give me this history. And the history they're getting is being written for them by the National Endowment for Democracy, who is mass disseminating propaganda on social media and everywhere. And this goes to show what Carlos always says, that social media is another battleground of class struggle. It's another battleground for the propaganda war. And that's why we're seeing so many crackdowns on technology and freedom of speech and combating cyber misinformation or whatever, because they're terrified of this. They're terrified of what the internet could be as a tool for spreading the truth. So they have to use the tactics of the internet um, to spread imperialist propaganda and to uh, suppress the truth, censor TikTok accounts like Midwestern Marks while creating accounts like Kings and Generals who will read off the State Department script and who won't be skeptical. The role, and look at what this guy does. Look at what he literally does for the NED. The role of social media in democracy movements. The case of Azerbaijan, that was the last article he wrote for them. So he literally talks about the role of social media in democracy movements, which, if you don't know, in imperialist NED CIA U.S. intelligence speak, that means overthrowing another country's democracy. That means regime change. That's all the U.S. does when they bring democracy or freedom to a country. By democracy movements, they mean extremist separatist rebel groups like the ones that they backed in Bolivia in 2019 and Ukraine in 2014 and Libya and Syria as early as or earlier than 2011. So that's this guy's job is spreading propaganda on social media. And that's who's writing the scripts for Kings and Generals, which is why I had a bunch of problems with the last Kings and Generals video that I watched, which we reacted to on stream. Uh, he's a founding board member of the civic movement promote democratization in Azerbaijan through nonviolence. Yeah, I'm sure you do, buddy. He also helped found the youth movement that engages in youth democracy building. So this guy, this guy's a special kind of, of jerk bag. He specifically focuses on propagandizing the youth, on democratizing the youth, on convincing kids and children over social media 
to support U.S. imperialism and support regime change. So his job is to make stuff like kings and generals that counteracts what we're doing or the viral videos that we've done on social media exposing U.S. imperialism. This dude's job is to make sure that the kids remain pro-war, that the kids remain neoliberals or neoconservatives. Wild. Um, and then here's all the connections that the NED had to the color revolution in 2014 in Ukraine and about propaganda in Ukraine in general. So, of course, no surprise that the NED would be funding um, pro proxy war propaganda here at home as well. And that's the thing that I try and get through to people like the NED in the U.S., imperialists and the USAID NGOs, whatever, when they do these regime change efforts, when they try and overthrow a, a country's democracy, they propagandize us here in the U S to get us to support it. Um, and they do it in the target country. So the NED and Bellingcat and all these other arms of the state department spend tons and tons of money on marketing and propaganda in the target country and here at home in the U S so they can hit both fronts and, and turn everybody against the Assad government or the Gaddafi government or Saddam Hussein's government or Evo Morales government, whoever it is that they want to topple for moving away from neoliberalism.